Hey everyone, it's Nicole and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to put your own custom photos into your Sims 4 game. This is really easy, really simple um, and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you need in order to do this is the Sims 4 Studio. I'm going to put that link in the description. Um, it's super easy to download. All you have to do is make an account on um, the website and then download it. So basically, just open the Sims 4 Studio after you download it. Okay, go ahead and type in your creator name down here. Mine is Nicole X Nikki. <laughs> then what you're going to do is come over to where it says objects here. And then make sure standalone recolor is checked here. And then click on object. It's going to bring you to a long list of all the objects you have in your game. And to narrow it down, go to game pack and um, just do base game and content game it just narrows it down a little bit and you just want to scroll down until you find like a picture frame you want sort of like this one ignore the picture just look at the frame and try to find a frame that you want to use and put your picture in if you need help trying to pick a frame that you know is going to look good in the game the one that i usually use is the tragic clown painting it's somewhere down here let me go ahead and put this into full screen um here it is tragic clown paint wall um this is what it is right here. This is the one that I use. So go ahead and click on it or whatever one you want to use and then click next. So when you click next, it's going to ask you to save your package file. If you want to access it easily, what I do is save it to my desktop. You can save it to wherever you want, but desktop is an easy find for me. So go ahead and name your package file, whatever you want to name it. If you're not familiar with package files, it's basically how all the Sims content and custom content basically is saved and put into your game. If you download CC, you know what it is. So um, go ahead and name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name mine Nicole. Just something simple. And I'm going to save. It should be now at, at your desktop. So then you're going to see the clown picture here, but that's not what you want. You want your picture here. So um, come over to the swatches and just... Go over them and see what ones you want and don't want. I'm going to go with the black one here. So to delete all the other ones, I'm just going to click on them and click remove swatch. So I removed the gray one and now I'm removing the brown one. So now we have the one that I want, the black one. So now where it says name, go ahead and name your picture, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name mine again, Nicole. And for the description, you can put whatever you want, but I don't care about the description. So I'm going to delete it. And then you're going to go to price and price it to whatever you want. Whatever you want to buy it in the game for, price it that. I'm going to do 10 simoleons because I ain't trying to spend a lot on this picture. <laughs> so then just save that here. Just save everything you did and it will say your package has been saved. Cool. Next, you're going to go over to textures here right next to catalog where you are now. Textures. Click on that. This is where you want to be. So where it says texture here, go down and click export. This is basically going to export this picture, this picture here. And you're going to take it and name it whatever you want to name it. Preferably the same thing that your package file is named so you can stick with a familiar name. I'm going to name it Nicole. Save. I saved it to my desktop. Again, saving things to your desktop is just very easy and just somewhere that you can find it easy. So now I'm going to minimize the Sims 4 Studio. And now we're at my desktop where I saved everything at. So here you can see my package file that I saved. It's right here. And then the PNG picture that I saved is here. So. For this part, guys, you're going to need an editing software that allows you to edit pictures and layers, such as Paint.net, Photoshop, or GIMP. For this example, I'm using GIMP. It is a totally free software that you can get online. I'll leave the link down in the description so you can go download it. It's very easy, very fast. It's free, and it's convenient. So go download that if you don't have any of those other programs installed already. Okay, so what we're going to do now is hover over this Nicole PNG image that I saved from um, the Sim Studio. We're going to right click it and click edit in GIMP or whatever software that you want to edit it in. So now we have the picture here opened up of this clown. I'm going to put this in full screen. 
Here we have the picture that we exported off the Sims 4 Studio that we're going to be editing and making our own picture. What you want to do is zoom in so you can clearly see where the picture ends and begins, the lines of the picture, because we're going to be deleting that picture. Get your selection tool or whatever you want to use to kind of delete this picture out. And you're going to want to take it and just line up with the picture not the frame we want to keep the frame we want to delete the tragic clown okay and we're going to just line that like this uh oh get it like this and then delete boom the clown is gone so tragic right and um just zoom back out now you have a blank canvas to put the picture that you want to put into this section so the next step is pretty easy. You just go to your um, folder or wherever you, you're keeping the picture that you wanna put in here. So I'm gonna go grab the picture that I want to use. It's in my photos under my pictures. So this is the picture that I wanna use. I wanna put this booty in a frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and get to, then I can just close that and close this. And I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna paste it here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and scale this or resize it into a way where it fits inside where that clown picture was so it can fit into the frame. I think that's close, but not quite. So whatever picture you're using, just size it to fit inside of the frame. It's not hard to do. All right, you guys, I got my picture to fit perfectly inside of the frame. So next, if you're using a, um, editing software such as Photoshop, um, Paint.net, or GIMP, you're gonna wanna export your file um, to a PNG because if you're using a photo software like this, it's not gonna automatically be in PNG. So you're gonna wanna click File, Export As, and then Nicole PNG. Whatever you named your original PNG file that the clown was named on, keep that name because we're going to overwrite that file so then click export it'll say a file name nicole.png already exists do you want to replace it yes we do replace and export cool now we can close all of these um photo editor ones so now you can see here that instead of that clown in the picture frame you can see your photo here in this thumbnail here so what you're going to want to do next is open back up the Sims 4 Studio. This is where you were before when you minimized it. Where it says texture, instead of, instead of pressing export, you're going to press import because you're importing your new picture in. And make sure you're at your desktop to where your picture was saved and double click it. Boom. There you go. Your picture is there. It's here. You got it. Make sure that you save it. So come over here and click save. It will say your package has been saved. So basically your package that you saved earlier, everything that you save here will go into your package. Now you're done here in Sims 4 Studio. Just exit out of here. And you have to put your package file into your mods folder. Um, anybody who's familiar with downloading custom content you know where to go just go to documents electronic arts the sims 4 and mods and you're going to drag your package file that you initially saved with your picture on it drag it into your mods folder so that it will be in your game x out of that and then open your game i'm going to open my game and i'll show you how my picture turned out all right, you guys, so I'm now in game and I'm going to go to built mode to find the picture that I just created. So I went ahead and went to decorations, paintings and posters and filtered it by custom content. So now I'm looking for my painting. 
and here it is it's under it's named nicole like we named it and it's ten dollars like we priced it so we're gonna click on it and see how it turned out uh oh it turned out pretty good i love it all right guys so that's the end of this tutorial i hope you found this helpful i mean look at it it came out great <laughs> um if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if for some reason you had trouble doing this and it didn't work out for you leave a comment down below and i promise you that i will help you as much as i can figure out what went wrong thank you so much guys bye